Hello, Delaware State University. My name is Mark Harris, and I am a library assistant here at the William C. Jason Library. This is a how-to and troubleshooting tutorial for remote access to the William C. Jason Library's digital resources. Delaware State University students, faculty, and staff have access to the library's digital resources and services, and this is going to explain how to get to our logon page and what to do if you run into any troubles. Okay, now we're going to start off here on our uh, library webpage. You can access this webpage by either Googling DSU Library or you can go to the Delaware State University's website, click on the Academics tab, and when that box drops down, we're located right here at the bottom in the right hand corner where it says Library. So when you get to our, our, webs, our webpage, I want you to scroll all the way down past some of these services and you'll get to Quick Links and Social Media. Here you'll see Accessing Electronic Resources. You would click on that, and then you would click on Electronic Resources, and that brings up this page that explains all the services you have access to, um, what to do when you run into some troubleshooting. And also right here, this is showing the logon page, and I will go, and in a few minutes, I will go back and I will show you how to get to this logon page. But when you do reach this logon page, in this box right here where it says library card, you're going to, if you have a valid uh, DSU library card, you are going to put in your 14-digit barcode number. Now, that 14-digit barcode number, if you look down here under this sample here, you will see it's in the bottom right -hand, left hand corner of your ID. It's a 14-digit barcode number, and that's what the number you will put in here to access our services. Now, if you're a distant learner and you do not have a uh, barcode, you would use your D number, and that D number is located on the right hand side of your ID or here on the right hand side. Now you'll put in that D number and that would all that D number will give you access to our electronic uh, services. Now if you run into any problems, I'm going to give you a couple of scenarios and this is if you try to log in with either your D number or if you log in with your barcode number and you get an error message that says card is it's expired or card needs to be updated or it just won't give you access, have no fear. Well what we want you to do is uh, to um, email us uh, or forward to us a uh, your first name, last name, and middle initial, your DSU D number, your and if you can a 14-digit barcode number, your DSU email, and an updated home and cell phone number. You email that to us at libref at d esu.edu. That's libref, L-I-B-R-E-F, at desu.edu. Email that to us, and what that will help us do, it would help us uh, put you back in the system and update you. We'll get your information, and then we'll update you, because that should be the only reason why you cannot actually log in. And for brand new students, the only reason why you probably can't, don't have access is that we didn't get a chance to put you into our system. So what we would want to do, what you to do, is if you scroll back up here, here on your left hand side, we have a new patron form. You click on that, that tab and that brings up our, our, our library card patron form. Print this form out, fill this out, and then forward it back to us via email or mail. And you can, um, if you can scan it and then email it back to us at that libref at desu.edu website, that would help us out. Then we'll put you in the system and then you should have access automatically. Now what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to close this box here and I'm going to go back to this front page and I'm going to scroll back up to our library's front page and, now, and I'm going to show you the steps you're going to take in case you were trying to access our database and what you will see. Now say you scroll down here and you get to our input research box right here. Now if you wanted to access one of our databases, you would click on the database um, list line link. And then here's a list of all of our databases A to Z. Um, I'm just going to pick this one right here. And when you click on a database, you'll see another page pop up right here next to it. And it's the search collection directly at provider. Click on that, and that brings you to the library's login page. And this is where you can either put in your 14 digit barcode or your D number to access our ser electronic services. I hope I was helpful in helping you get through this and thank you for listening.